never been on a blind date. I'm kind of on the camping equivalent. Going on a pretty long 200 plus kilometer up to two week trip with someone I just met last night. Know him from social media a little bit, but we've never actually hung out in person until last night. So kind of a wild card. It's a long time to spend with someone you, you just met. At least we have different canoes, but yeah, I think we'll be stepping on each other's toes a little bit. Oh, sorry, buddy. Good to see you there. Some dramatic skies to start here. Could be some foreshadowing for this trip. The weather forecast looks pretty challenging. Most of all, the wind. Really excited for it. We could see a lot of big mammals on this trip. There's possibility for bear, lynx, moose, timber wolves, and caribou, woodland caribou. That would be magical. Never seen one. It's really high on my bucket list. Yeah, I think we're camping here. Just saw lightning over there. So we're gonna haul out camp here. It's pretty bushy, but I think we'll be getting a lot of that on this trip. And just a, an incredibly dramatic sky. Stuff going on everywhere. It's rain on the breeze. We got tarps up, lickety split, wind's picking up. Hopefully we can get a chance to cook this fish. Hoping that this passes, starts fire after. Oh, those look great. Oh, what a God. way to start a trip. Mmm. Right <laughs> That's delicious, dude. <sighs> Day one in the books, a long drive, but still put a 10 kilometer dent in our route. Beautiful scenery and skies, and bonding with a new friend over a pan of fish. I'd say Xander and I are off to a good start. 6 a.m. It's getting bright out. We're gonna get at her. Gotta put in a big day today. Hey. 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 <laughs> Yesterday was a short day, probably our easiest day of the whole trip. And yeah, we are way up north. I'll show you on my phone here. Way up north. I didn't really have time to explain yesterday with the fish cleaning and everything. It was dark before we knew it. But yeah, we are, we're in for a good trip. Leaving camp number one behind, it was a really nice one. Great view, sunrise this morning, sunset last night. Coming up to our first portage of the trip, it's 750 meters. Yeah, into our next lake. Oh, it's good to see. Food barrel's heavy right now. A lot of food in there, so. This lake doesn't have a name on my topo map, but it is just beautiful. Hard to rush through, but we have so much to see on this on this trip, and there'll be plenty more to enjoy. So it's okay. Just soaking up the, the, the moment. This portage is so short that we just took our packs over, and now we're double teaming the canoe, one man on each end, so we don't have to unload all the little bits and pieces. We're into Dillasep Lake now, which is a pretty sizable one. We are going into a headwind, but it's manageable today, so it's no problem. It's the days ahead, especially tomorrow and the day after, I believe, where the wind could be really challenging. So we're gonna get as far as we can today. Anything? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, okay, good. Your L5C boreal forest. Any hobbits? Have you seen two hobbits? So we just came up through the river here and we're in this part of Minas Lake now. And we were hoping to get over here at least and then not be in too much of the headwind on Minas Lake here, which is quite large. But we're thinking this is more realistic at this point. Turned into the headwind on Minas Lake now. Quite a bit tougher paddling, but hopefully just a few more kilometers to go before we make camp. Found camp for the night. Had a pretty long day. 
about nine hours of actual paddling. We're hungry. Don't stop. We didn't put much of a dent in Minnes, unfortunately, but we'll figure it out. Or we won't. Or we won't. Two possibilities. needed. Night two of camping with a stranger. So far so good. Put in at least 30 clicks today. A lot of that into a headwind. Looking forward to tomorrow. It uh, could be a nasty day but we'll just have to see. Stormed overnight a bit. Wind was really gusting and there's some lightning, thunder. It's nice to get it overnight. I'm having a traditional breakfast of burritos and I brought in one avocado as a treat. Wanna give me some of that? And Xander has oats. Trade you. Damn. <laughs> in fairness, Xander does have a bucket of coffee though, so uh, he's got that on me. And ready for the day. Yeah, you're gonna be wired. <laughs> Two for you, one for me. <laughs> All right, we're leaving our camp behind here, and the wind is up, but not to the point where we're windbound. We can definitely fight through it like we did yesterday. After Minnis Lake, we got rapids too, so we're excited to get into that, and that would be a great place to be for some windy conditions. Off the big lakes. The wind is still building. But so far it seems like we lucked out and the worst of it came overnight. Still making progress, but we're about to hit the most exposed part of Minnis Lake. So we're doing pretty well here. We camped last night. We've made it all the way across to this island. Now we're in here and we should be in the clear to get into these rapids. One more big blow. Oh, that smoke yeah, out of there. Almost at the end of Minnis Lake and we can hear the rapids looming ahead. Kind of exciting. Hope we can run it. Kind of gets your nerves going too. How's it look? From what I can see so far, pretty straightforward. Okay. Yeah, but I can't see past these branches, so we have to go a little. Uh, avoid this rock in that hole there. Right? But straight up the middle. Yeah. This rapid looks like it should be no real trouble, but we have probably at least two more after it today, and it could rain. So I brought this thing out, might as well use it. Should be an event belt. He's all good down there. That's the dream. <laughs> Keeper? Yeah, that looks perfect. This is a keeper too. Oh, and then the hook just came out. <laughs> Bit smaller, but to combine they'll be great. And I put a rock in the boat just so I can bonk it, put it out of its misery immediately. Now there's a nasty strainer here, the flow is pushing right under it, so we're just going to wait around this one. It's such a short run, it's not worth trying to do something silly. Nice to have the dry suit here. Just saw a bolt of lightning over there over my shoulder. Oh baby! Walleye, dinner, and a thunderstorm. Sounds great. We better get to camp though. 
Oh, I love thunder. Are you still thinking camp here? Yeah. That could be the site there. Is that a fire pit? What do you think? Check it out. Thunder booming. We've got a pretty nice spot here though. I really like it. Love these ancient looking spruce forests. Bit of use, but it seems quite old. Beautiful spot. How you doing here? Good man, yeah I know it's cut up well. Good. We did it. Yeah, hopefully we got a break in the rain to eat. I guess we can use the tarp. Yeah, we'll but... just get that fire up to critical state and <laughs> get it ripped and roaring and we'll be good to go. Great little storm there. We've got some tarps up. Rainbow, thunder, lightning. Heavy showers, and now it's time for fish. Hopefully rain holds off for us. You cut off the pectoral? Uh, pectoral fins, yeah, after. I find is easiest. Xander got us a delightful fire going. Feels wonderful. We're pretty soaked. I mean, I'm not with the dry suit, but my head is, hands and all that. And it still feels just as good as if I was soaked. Like you are. I'm a little wet. What's up? This is you looking up at me while you're blowing that. <laughs> oh, yes. Mind if I go ahead? And eat? Yeah. 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 I mind. Okay. Looks like the rain's just starting back up. We just got time to clean our fish. And first bite. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Just getting into the hammock. Got fresh clothes on. All dry and warm. It feels so good after a cool and rainy day windy but a beautiful one ended it with walleye rainbow it's a great day Caribou. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's magnificent. It's coming right for us. 
Woodland caribou are considered threatened as a species at risk. Who knows how much longer it'll be possible to see one. Absolutely can't believe that just happened. Day four, about a third of the way into our trip. I, I thought that might not happen at all. I thought the odds were against us actually. I've been waiting on a caribou for years, woodland caribou. How do you feel? That was great, I didn't think that was gonna happen. And you've never seen one? I've never seen one. Oh my goodness. Across the lake right there. <sighs> it's a good omen. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. We're on our way with a powerful tailwind, which we'll only be able to enjoy for a little bit while we hopefully run a couple of rapids here. There are three, I think probably two of them will hopefully be able to run. We've got the caribou, nothing else matters. I'm just overjoyed. A lot of blow down here. The damage to these woods goes on for quite a ways. We're thinking maybe a tornado occurred at some point many years ago. Pretty amazing to see powerful weather up here. What do you think? Pretty straightforward. Sweet. Yeah, like straight up the middle, straight up the middle. Yep. Oh my god, that's a big boy! Woo! Oh my god! Oh no. Dude, it's a good sized pike. I got that on camera because that thing was enormous. Not as big as yours. Thanks, buddy. We've been enjoying this tailwind so far today as we headed north. We're now turning and we're going into it, so we'll see how far we get. It's really picking up. Coming up to rapid number three. Good, look at the wind on the trees here. It can make the rapids a little tougher too. The wind is really blowing us around in here. Can't even wear my hat. It's hard to steer. <laughs> you can barely move forward in this wind. We're having some lunch here, but it seems like we might be windbound. We have to make a little bush camp here, but it's kind of a unique spot, so that'd be all right. 
I'm gonna see what we can do. As soon as I get around this point, it's gonna be wicked. We've got a pretty unique spot here. Good tent pad for Xander, just, just a bush site here, so we're glad we found a flat spot for him. I'll be hanging in here. Beautiful view here down the river, St. Raphael River. Yeah, we're pretty thrilled with this campsite. Good tent pad for Xander and a beautiful spot for me here. Love it. Mossy, all these interesting mushrooms around. Wind raging on the other side of this point, nice and leeward here. Ah, feels good. So we got to a point where it just wasn't worth battling the wind anymore. We would have fought tooth and nail to make a couple more kilometers today. This worked out to be a pretty sweet camp. We were just casting offshore hoping to get a fish to clean up, but no such luck. Just gonna make some tea, sit by the fire, have some much needed downtime on this trip. It's pretty much been go, go, go. Some teas coming up. Oh my, swing and a miss. Look at that, it looks like pee pee. Appetite. Flavorful. <laughs> Thanks for the pee-pee water. <laughs> You're welcome. It does look like pee-pee. It does. Does it smell or taste like pee-pee? That's a good guess. <laughs> the best you've ever had. Mmm, that is good. This is a very nice afternoon. I'm almost glad that we were forced to stop. We need a tailwind someday. We've got some huge lakes coming up, and the tailwind would go a long way. Tea was delicious. Good. We're gonna cook up dinner in a sec, unless we can get a, a fish or two. That would be ideal. And you just set it on the water, and a rainbow popped up. Xander delivers a walleye right where I got a hit 15, 20 minutes ago. Well done. I'm enjoying it vicariously. Mm. Xander is making tea with his mac and cheese water. Not a picky man. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> so it's almost 8 o'clock. We're going to hit the hay and wake up really early at 4 a.m. at breakfast and then hit the water and try and put a real dent into Churchill Lake. It's kind of giving it, both of us a bit, bit of concern. So, we can try and knock it off in the dark. All right, 4 a.m., here we go. Well, I'm glad we woke up early. The stars are incredible, and there's actually some faint northern lights. I thought it looked kind of bright on the horizon. Awesome. Kind of an awesome morning here. Got fire, a bucket of curry, and it's, it's quite calm, so hopefully we can take advantage of that before it picks up. Great star is still out though, won't come up on this camera, but yeah, just an awesome experience. Paddling at first light. It's quite chilly, but reasonably bundled up, and it feels good just to be moving and getting the blood flowing. To say this trip has been magical so far is an understatement. Woodland caribou, stars, northern lights, storms, fishing, uh, northern scenery. Hard to believe it's only day five. Just look at that. Magic.
Xander just got a walleye here. And there's a sun dog forming there. Just non stop beauty. Coming to the portage into Churchill Lake. good trail just a quarter kilometer except for this big blowdown but it lifted up its mat and you can just walk right behind that massive we're into the north arm of Churchill Lake there is a breeze in our face but just a breeze so we should be good for at least a few hours I hope we're probably gonna more or less skip lunch just snack and uh, try and put a really good dent in this lake. That's not a bad one. Oh yeah! That is chunky! Oh yeah. That's close to a 10 pounder there. Yes. A beauty. And... Oh, a letter resuscitate. There, excellent, excellent. Churchill, baby! Yeah? Big lake, big fish. Nice. Oh, walleye. Wow. Immediately after. What fishing on Churchill Lake? Hey, bear, bear. Wow, what a model. Oh man. Oh, I'm just I'm loving this route so much. Having such an, an amazing experience. Yesterday, Woodland Caribou, and then Xander gets a big pike. Today, bear and I get a big pike. Incredible. And northern lights in between. Like, what a trip. Over here. <laughs> Really good thing we started early this morning. It's only 10. The wind's already starting to get tough, and we're not even on the main body of Churchill Lake yet. It's still in the north arm. The north arm itself is bigger than most lakes, but at least we're still making progress. bear. Just saw another black bear here from afar. Didn't really get a good shot of it. Came in just to see if it was still around but it looks like it's buzzed off. Just after four. So we've been paddling for 10 hours and we've been up and at it for 12. Pretty much non-stop. We haven't stopped for a proper meal so I'm really craving dinner. Hoping we can get a fish in these last few kilometers before camp. Whatever the case is I'll be happy to stop and eat and probably go to bed really early. Yes. We're eating tonight, my friend. Eating tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How is it? Good. Good temp hat for you? Good enough. Fantastic. Oh, that all worked out well. Just caught this pike as we we're coming into camp. Probably five pounds, maybe six at the most. Xander's starting the fire up there, which is awesome. So nice to have two people for for doing this. So three big fillets, and uh, this one had roe in it as well. I've never eaten pike roe before, and uh, pike don't spawn till spring, so this is months before that. So anyway, it was in there, so we're gonna try it, see if we can make use of it. Season in hand. Fish in the pan. Fish in hand. Fish in the pan. 
Oh, look at that go, eh? Shriveled up like a, you know what, in cold water. <laughs> what a day! What a day. Two bears, big pike, fish fry. Sun dogs, golden morning, and uh, and northern lights. Wow, how we doing here, folks? Can I get anyone to refill? So I've eaten fish row before, but never from pike. We're gonna try it. Whoa, yours <laughs> is still raw and wriggling. Mine is shriveled up, but. Might need some work. You're right. <laughs> it's not bad though. That was it's fishy. It's good though. Mmm. No, it is good. Yeah, it's really good. Enjoyed that. That was so good. Hit the spot. Just what we needed. Yeah, needed is right. All right, we're uh, getting saddled up for the night. Both zonked. As soon as we lie down, we'll probably be dead to the world. Sandra's back there on a nice mossy spot. A little. A little bit undulating, but otherwise a nice spot. Help me. Another absolutely astonishing day. Five days in, and I'd say this is on pace to be the best camping trip of my life. I'm absolutely inspired by what we've seen here. It's hard to put into words. Sun's setting. Moon is rising just through there. Who knows if we'll see the northern lights? At least stars. Yeah, just overwhelmed right now. With uh, emotion and joy, gratitude. Having the best trip ever. You, you peep it on me? Oh yeah, and I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> I think I almost just lost my eyebrows. <laughs> Up at quarter to five this morning, again trying to beat the winds, but they're already blowing. They blew all night pretty hard. But they're going to get really bad this afternoon, so we'll uh, hopefully get in some distance and find a really good camp for the next day, which is supposed to have 70 millimeters of rain. Like that's just absolutely huge. That's a huge rainstorm. So we really want to hunker down and find a good site for tonight. to St. Raphael Lake. chilling. <laughs> it's very comfy. <laughs> just in the moss. <laughs> How you doing over there? Good, just finished. Yeah. Xander's just admiring the mushrooms. There are an incredible number on this island, really all over on this trip, but this island has a ton. Six days into camping with Xander, who is virtually a stranger to me, and yeah, I'm thrilled that he's here. It's worked out beautifully. Solo tripping is awesome because you can eat whenever you want, you stop for camp whenever you want, fish. It's all on your schedule. And you make some compromises when you trip with someone, but 
special moments like the caribou seeing that like I'm, I'm so glad that he was here to enjoy that moment and then the tough moments too battling a headwind you feel like you're in it together um, so yeah I'm thrilled he's here Ooh, yeah, the sun has that like kind of uh, smoke in the atmosphere kind of yeah it kind of does yeah. Sun just set, moon's on the rise. Red sunset, red moon rise, storm coming. Ambiance off the charts. So the rain is lit up, uh, mostly right now. It's just raining lightly. Made it through the night. What was your experience? Oh, it was awesome waking up around, oh, I went to sleep listening to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and just woke up around midnight to some thunder and seen flashes of light. And the tarp was going crazy. The wind was howling. And I was thinking, oh, crap. <laughs> like, this is going to be bigger than we thought. There's definitely that moment of yeah. like feeling like you're in the teeth of an animal and, and it could just rip you to shreds. It but was pretty intimidating to be honest. Yeah. Um, but the, the beast was gentle enough with us. Yeah, got up around six and see, things seemed to be like puzzling out. So. Yeah, so much for our sleep in day. We're, our, our sleep cycle is just set and we can't even sleep in. <laughs> yeah, you got up too? Yeah. Got my coffee already. Nice. Ready? And we're just waiting for a north wind. Yeah. Waiting for that wind to shift in our favor. Xander just popped by and we had a chat about the plan for today. We're just gonna pack up and get going. We're gonna get soaked today for sure. So we might as well just stop delaying the inevitable and set up camp earlier in the day and have time to kind of get situated and dry out a bit, hopefully. It's supposed to rain all day. We won't be drying out in the sun or anything, but at least under our tarps we can get everything ready for, for the night, which is going to be fairly chilly. So we camped there last night. And we're heading down this lake onto the next map down here across into Ghost Lake and then we're gonna hopefully camp somewhere there before the next portage. It's a big walleye. Nice. Whoa, he doesn't want to get in the basket. He's like, that's not for me. <laughs> All right, hello. That's a, that's a big walleye. Biggest of the trip maybe? Biggest one for the trip, yeah. Nice fish. That's a good fish. Bloop. Shoop. Later, bud. Thank you for uh, your visit. Yeah, I can't go too wrong, eh? You can't go too wrong. Yeah. Keep heading down. At least we have a tailwind. Just gonna let it go. Whoa. <laughs> We're coming into some islands, hoping we can find a good campsite. We're gonna call it for the day. It's uh, it's very chilly, uh, especially for Xander without the dry suit. So best to just stop for the day. We can put in more time tomorrow when the rain's supposed to pass. We made a good little chunk of distance today. So we're stopping here on this beautiful spot. Uh, it's a little messed up back there, so much blow down. But Xander's gonna get his tent and tarp up here. I'm sure I can get the uh, hammock up somewhere. We're not too picky right now. Uh, this north wind is pretty chilly. Oh, 
smells so good. There's nothing like getting under a tarp on a cold rainy day, making a hot meal. We were saying this on the way down as we were paddling through the rain, which is like there's there may be no greater simple pleasure in life. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. Yes. Another beauty campsite amongst this little island chain. And this should be our most favorable day for travel so far, which is very exciting. It's been headwinds and or rain most of the time so far, and we've enjoyed it thoroughly, but like the thought of, of getting good conditions, wind blowing on our backs without rain pelting our faces is uh, very exciting. running along the shore. Okay, that's a good guy. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was huge! That was probably bigger than your last biggest one, right? Maybe. The hook came out and then he was just laying there and I scoop him, but he wouldn't fit in the net. That dang net! Coming up to our portage, 325 meters into Hooker Lake, I believe it is. No, Vincent. Then Hooker, then Yam. to Hooker Lake and just having a quick lunch here on a small beach. Just salami and cheese wraps to get us going quickly. Am I holding it? Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> it's after five now and we're looking for a campsite. The wind just died and this is probably the calmest we've had, calmest conditions of the whole trip. How's it look? It looks like home. Oh, just made camp. We just got to camp. My first priority is usually dry shoes. Mine is fish. Sanders got a pike to clean up. Took the hook badly, so it was a keeper. Oh, yes. Xander, eating fish. Hello? Oh yeah, thank you. Oh, so nice doing fresh fries with two people. Yeah, that's Get the fire cool. going, you know. It'd take three times longer to do it alone, somehow. 
Yeah, what time did we get here? Because we are, fire's up, fish is ready, and we're eating. Like, what, was that 20 minutes? That was like a time trial. Yeah, that, that was, was amazing. record time. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Well, we had just enough time to cook up that pike and a little, little side. I made instant potatoes. Xander, you in the lasagna? What is that? Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming that's lasagna. <laughs> Xander's got his tent up and I uh, will be right beside my bud here. We've never been closer. You mind going back in the forest a little bit? <laughs> We're up at 5.30 in the light of the moon, full moon, and it's our chilliest morning yet, 4 degrees, and we're heading for Lawson Lake, which is one of the lakes we're most excited for. Brad Jennings, whose map we're using for this trip, he said it was probably his favorite of the trip, so... On the water at sunrise, glassy conditions, misty, chilly, loving it. Another great campsite, camp number eight, on to camp nine. Yesterday we came way down here, this map's in sections, unfortunately I can't show you the overview. Camp there, at the mouth of this big long bay, and then we go up this huge U with no portages, up Lawson Lake. Yesterday's portage is our last portage for probably, it's gotta be like 30 or 40 kilometers. Pretty fantastic. We're at the bottom of the loop into Lawson Lake. And there are pictographs here. I'm looking forward to it. That huge rainfall two days ago, maybe three, I can't remember now. It's created all these ephemeral streams and waterfalls. Beautiful, breaking up our paddle. Just hear them at the side of the shore and pretend to check them out. That was so nice. Yeah, nice one. Should we have this for lunch? Yeah. It's like, it would feed too. Yeah, let's do it. All right, my thanks this fish, which is going to be our lunch. Really quite a nice walleye. I'll show you after I dispatch him. Just out of respect for this guy. And then just crush the skull to ensure that the brain is, is zapped and that uh, fish is out of its misery. A couple more just to be absolutely sure, but that's definitely dispatched now. I'll give you a look. Nice little walleye. Thank you. Coming up to these narrows, which has a cliff, and that's the pictograph site. Very excited to get to these. an amazing spot here even without the pictographs it's very scenic and the pictographs just bring you back to a time that's it's hard to imagine now in this day and age and Xander and I were talking about it earlier and I just find it uh, so inspiring that people lived off the land here like it's a harsh existence the winters up here are brutal minus 30s minus 40 and it can be you know tough times up here but they did it. I'm gonna add this pike to the walleye and make it like a full meal for both of us. We don't have to go into the food barrel at all. Thank you. 
And that one actually took it in the gills a little bit. Not badly, but makes it a better keeper since it has a lower chance of survival uh, if released. And now we've got a feast. Any really good eating. Those are some big fish. Those are a lot bigger than I expected. Not bad. Yeah. That walleye is a big boy. Yeah, there's a better look at that blue, blue tinge. I just played the walleye. Sandra's gonna do up the pike. And we're gonna have quite a feast. Also got the egg sacks. We'll eat those. And the wings. What's this? Is that sperm? I think that's like it's liver or something. <laughs> Stop asking if everything's sperm. Is that sperm? Can we eat it? Had a really nice shore lunch on that island. We're feeling great, energized. And we're looking for a great campsite tonight. We got a tailwind, like today has been the best day in terms of all, all things considered. Fishing's been great. Just need a good campsite to cap it off. Pull into the camp about two hours earlier than yesterday. Looks like a beauty. Setting up my hammock in a really nice spot here. Terrific view down Lawson Lake. And there is a big widow maker hanging right over. A great tent pad and a great place for me to set up the hammock as well. So I'm just taking it down for safety. Timber! So that's me there. There is tons of blow down here. There has been on most of the sites, but this one probably more than any other. Xander's over here with a really terrific view. And he's got us a fire going too. Ah! Are you okay? Did you pinch your finger or something? Oh no. You burnt it? It's a hot rock. Dude. Oh. Oh, that's gonna blast her. Oh damn, man! Look at that. Ooh, that was a that was a shock. I thought it was on the outside, but evidently I am wrong. Ooh, that's starting to hurt. Amputation might be in order. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Happens to the best of us. Yeah. You almost got got earlier in this trip. I almost get got every single time I come out. <laughs> Getting a pot of spruce tea going again. And I just made a boo-boo. I picked up a rock out of the fire. I thought it was on the outside, but um, it instantly scorched my fingertips. Hopefully it's all right. Just hope it doesn't like blister and get really uncomfortable for paddling, but it is, it is what it is at this point. It's done, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, Xander got some footage of it. I happened to be recording the fire as I committed my act of idiocy. Yeah. big pack of wolves close to us just across the lake so awesome that was amazing that was so cool wow that was so loud I know wow woodland caribou two bears and now a pack of wolves howling just across the lake what an incredible place all well, sweet dreams That's a five. So how about those wolves? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> that was amazing. I was like just about to doze off. And that was incredible. That was such an experience because considering we thought that, you know, nothing really happened yesterday. Yeah, it was pretty uneventful. And I journaled that and then <laughs> boom.
on to day 10 of camping with someone I barely knew and it's still going fantastic. Really enjoying Xander's company and and we're excited for today. Wolves were, our camp is right behind us there and the wolves were just over on this, on this shore somewhere here it sounded like. Not far at all. That was magical. Short portage into the next lake, which doesn't appear to have a name. Tamarack are starting to turn golden. So we're on to the 1.6 kilometer, one mile portage with lots of blowdown apparently. It's a good thing this tree is well flagged. You would hardly see anything here, eh? Yeah. Cooking up some burritos quickly on the burner here in preparation for this mile-long portage. Gotta fuel up, feed the machine. Pretty good so far, muddy, but that's, that's to be expected. No blowdown that we haven't been able to get around yet. Still a great trail, a little bit of blowdown, but nothing you can't step over. Some old wolf scat here. It's a doozy. <laughs> There's a really cool tiered mushroom on the trail ahead. Oh yeah. And some interesting poop. Ooh. I'll leave you with that teaser. Beautiful end to the portage here. I am through, I took the canoe and food barrel in one shot. My main pack's halfway there back, so almost there. over there. We just saw a moose as we were coming through this marsh, which was no surprise really. Like it seemed like a really moosey spot, but that is now four out of five big mammals that we could have seen on this trip, including the wolves uh, that we heard last night, the two bears and the caribou. That is absolutely incredible. Like what exceeds our wildest expectations. And now the only one left is a lynx, but that's probably the least likely. So we're back to Dillisap Lake on the south end. We passed through the north end near the start of the trip. So we're getting toward the end. We think we'll be two more days, uh, but we have a long paddle a lot back. We're trying to take advantage of this tailwind we have today. Tomorrow's gonna be a headwind. We have a lot of north ground to cover here on this lake. Yeah, it's an otter. Not the first otter we've seen on this trip, but the first one we got any footage of. Not to mention the eagles, hawks, and mink. What a wildlife paradise. It's a wildlife sanctuary. And this animal. <laughs> yeah, the biggest animal in the park. <laughs> the biggest and the dumbest. <laughs> Home sweet home, eh? Pretty cool spot here after a long day, a biggest day. I've been awake since 3.30. I just woke up and couldn't sleep after that. Oh, <laughs> someone's changing. <laughs> and it's a little bushy, but uh, we'll find a tent pad for Xander. And the hammock always has a, a home somewhere, as long as there are trees. Oh yeah, I can't wait to hang up in it. Just about to lose the sun. Just enough time to set up. It's appreciated. We'll cook after sunset 
and then go to sleep. What a long day. Good day. Full. Are you peeping on my tent? Yes. I'm in the hammock, sleeping without the tarp tonight. We're looking forward to our, our last full day tomorrow. Added a moose today, more beautiful lakes and scenery. Really couldn't ask for more on this trip. Sander's gone. I'm so scared. Morning of day 11. We are on our way at 6.15 a.m. up at 5, one of our earliest times on the water and we're looking forward to our last day, last full day. <laughs> Sander is having a very bad time. Speak for yourself. He has explosive diarrhea and he's defiled all of his undies. Not a clean one to spare. And I wouldn't give him any toilet paper, I said. Not a square to spare. And he said, I didn't watch Seinfeld. Just kidding. No diarrhea. Just did a small portage, or second last portage of the trip into the small lake, which we're just gonna enjoy and fish for, for quite a while. We have uh, ample time today to get back to our access lake, and then we'll be out tomorrow morning. So we're just enjoying it, soaking it up, the end of the trip. Bull moose back there. Grunting in the rut. Fantastic, such a cooperative subject. Beautiful the way he was grunting at us and he was racked up and we, uh, yeah. It's the, oh, that was awesome. Beautiful outro for our journey. Almost, it's not over yet. Who knows what else we'll see, but that was perfect. That was perfect. They call this the boreal forest, but to me sometimes it feels more like a jungle. It's so wild. It is, this trip has been like a safari. <laughs> a few days into fall now. It's a, it's a chilly one with a cold north wind. Warm it up with some fire and cook up a pot of tea. On the 700 meter portage back to Minchin Lake or Access Lake, it's, it's always weird on these trips. Like they feel like they fly by, but that feels like a long time ago that we were here at the same time. It's cool, I've never seen a flock of them before. Sandhill Cranes. Just pulling into our final camp for the trip. Some very menacing clouds above us. And we're excited to just set up the tarp, ride out anything that comes, and soak up these last moments. As a loner, it can be hard to muster up the social energy to, to get out there, to make friends, to do anything social. Even online, it can take a lot of effort, but sometimes you, you put yourself out there and it, and it pays off. Found a great friend in Xander, 
enjoyed his company so much on this trip. It wouldn't have been the same without him. And we had a phenomenal time. You're never sure if you know someone. Like All I did is watch his YouTube. You have a, probably a good sense of who someone is through that, but you never know. It could be, it's a, it's a bit of a wild card. And this was probably my most anticipated route of the year. <laughs> it could have been ruined if I picked the wrong person, but I didn't. Uh, Xander's a stand-up guy, so worked out beautifully. I started out backcountry camping as a soloist because I didn't think I had compatible tripping partners, like who had the right gear and schedule and uh, perhaps skill level. But largely, I I went solo because I, I just wanted to be alone. But uh, you know, with Aaron coming into my life a couple of years ago and uh, getting out with people like Joe and Xander and and learning how much richer a trip can be with people. I still love Solo, but um, there's something to be said for, for company out here. There's that Chris McCandless quote, happiness only real when shared. And it's, uh, it's so true. And I'm, I'm so grateful to, to all those people and to you for letting me share this happiness. Goosebraba. Goosebraba. Well, night's 11. Mm. What an incredible trip. Yeah. One of the best of my life. Yeah? Yeah, easily. Easy, easily for me, too. For experience. Like, it's a fantastic route on its own. You got lakes, rivers, a bit of white water, some, like, wetlands, and incredible wildlife best right on cue the loon i just like i'm blown away by the boreal forest it was when you invited me i was like oh yeah the boreal forest that sounds really boring and flat <laughs> and it was relatively flat but it was beyond mm. gorgeous the wildlife and the fauna and flora and the mushrooms <laughs> the fish um, great fishing it was so full of life yeah it was such a magical place. It is for like a short period of the year, so full of life. And then in the winter, in the winter, it's just uh, almost a wasteland, but still in a beautiful way with, with life. Wow. Just right on cue. Seriously. Hey, buddy. Loon flies by. Ah, and uh, yeah, obviously the caribou. The, yeah, the caribou. That was magic. Like that's for me an unforgettable part of my life. Yeah, not to mention northern lights, like everything oh, in the yeah. sky has been incredible. The weather. The winds on our side against us. Yep, the winds. The fishing. Like, just an immersive wilderness experience, just feel like we got everything. What was your highlight? Was it the caribou? Yeah, pike in the weather, mm. for sure. Yeah, yeah catching you... some fish, catching some mm. walleye, pulling some of those things out of the, out of the lake, <laughs> learning about fishing from you. Um, going barbless was really, mm. really cool. Kudos, man. Yes. Yeah. I, I didn't so say anything to him. That was completely his decision. Yeah. And it's a good one. Like, yeah, when you're catching this many fish, too, it just makes the release process so much easier and more enjoyable. Yeah, it makes you a better fisherman, too, when you're trying to reel them in and it's barbless. Like, yeah. 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 And man, we had a lot of fish fries. Like, the most fish I've ever eaten on a trip, for sure. You, <laughs> how many times? Six at least. At There's least. some heavy breathing Seven? at night some oh. days. Yeah, like a lot of fried fish in our arteries <laughs> and campfire smoke in our lungs. Yeah, the caribou was super cool. Yeah. So, sorry, was that your highlight? Mm. Or just I the mean, fishing in like general? I mean, that's like the most magical thing that happened. If there was anything that like bordered on like yeah. the magical mystical, mm -hmm. it was that moment when yeah. the caribou came out. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. And your low point of the trip? Um, sitting on this bench <laughs> hearing your and feeling your farts. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good choice. A bit of recency bias in there, I think. Um, but yeah, okay. It's traumatizing. Low point. Um, yeah, it's this moment. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it there. Thanks for joining us. Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did, as we did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Have a great day. <laughs> Don't ever sign off on my show again. <laughs>
5.30, packed up, skipped breakfast. Paddling for the car, final paddle of the trip in the rain. Can't see a thing in the water. A little bit of light creeping into the sky. Our bodies are pretty raw. We're almost back. Oh man, it's so bittersweet to end. Now the access point's coming into view, and that's the end of our trip. But after 12 days together in this incredible place, I think it's safe to say it's just the beginning of our friendship.